Lindsay Shiver. Yeah. We're getting a closer look now at the life of Lindsay Shiver, the woman accused of conspiring to kill her husband with the help of her boyfriend. Newly released body camera video shows an interaction between Shiver, first responders, and her mother-in-law, months ahead of her alleged crime. I do not want to go home. Though. Yeah. She's left. Y'all don't know her. Yeah. You don't know her like me. No, I don't. The video stems from an incident on April 30th in Thomasville, Georgia. 36-year-old Shiver, a former beauty queen and Auburn University cheerleader, is seen on camera approaching first responders. She explains she's in a custody disagreement about her children. Yeah. Okay. My in-laws are in the parking lot right there. Uh -huh. In the white Lexus. Yeah. I've tried to call them. This is my attorney on the phone. Uh-huh. Um, and have not been able to get a hold of them. But that's what I was calling for, was for y'all to come meet with me. Because I'm trying to meet up with my husband right now. Shiver's husband is Robert Shiver, a former Auburn football player. She's now accused of conspiring to kill him with the help of her boyfriend, 28-year-old Terrence Bethel, and 28-year-old Farron Newbold Jr. They were arrested last month in the Bahamas when police found WhatsApp messages that laid out the murder plot. But months earlier, as Shiver was in the process of a divorce, body camera video caught her amidst a custody dispute. So what are y'all trying to do? Custody? 46 Thomas, I'm relocating to the compliance location at BP West. In the divorce. I just had my kids with my family all weekend, and I respected that. I didn't go up there with my family. On the way back this morning, they were in Wiggum 20, 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. 23 they were times home, out. And then I get the message Step that one. they're dropping, he's dropping them with his parents, who have no rights. Okay. So as a witness for me, that's why I called y'all, to mm -hmm. meet me at his parents' house. You called? I called. I was the first one to call. Uh, I don't. I, I assume my complaint it was, and they said the white Lexus. And then... No, I called first. Okay. This morning, and then I've been on the phone with the attorney and trying to dial them to ask them where the kids were and where they were meeting them, so that I could okay, call y'all to let you know. Them. The responding Thomas County Sheriff's deputy explains that Shiver's mother-in-law called law enforcement reporting she'd been following her around and making threatening remarks. So they called and said that you were following them and harassing them. And that's, that's why. Not, that's not the so. truth. I was just trying to see where they were going to meet my kids if I needed to call you to tell you it was the gas station or the house. Instead, Shiver said it was she who called dispatch after a recommendation from her attorney. Okay, who'd you speak to this morning? I have some land of subject trespassing in the area of 100 Stephen Drive, 100 Stephen Drive, okay. across the Keylon Drive. How many Drive, times did you try to call them? Just one I called this morning as uh, a were, safety net for me, and my attorney has sent his attorney a note saying that they did not need to go to the in-law's house. I promise this is all well before y'all were called by them. What time did you call dispatch? Let's see. Called a lot of people this morning now at 1238. Okay. okay, so that was probably the, that might have been the original call then. I don't know. If there's no, I mean, there's no crime here, so we're not. But where are my kids? Uh, I don't know. It must be, they got to be with your husband. If, uh, Which is what, just frolicking around and can until he drops them with them? Shiver says she believes her husband has their kids, but he's not answering her calls. Okay. So you think your husband has husband them? still has them, but he, he won't, won't answer. But he won't answer. Okay. When was he supposed to bring the, bring the kids back to you? This morning. Oh, yeah. No one's answering the phone. Yeah. Where has your husband been staying? Oh, at my house. Okay. It's a lovely situation. So he just isn't home? He hasn't come home yet? Mm -mm. Okay. I'll try my son, who I tried earlier and had talked to 
and he told me they were in Wiggum, but now I'm sure Robert's got him not answering the phone. The sheriff's deputy explained Shiver's in-laws also reached out to law enforcement saying they feared for their safety. The whole reason we're here is they said that you were following them and they they uh, said you were harassing them. And, uh, let me read it. I'm pretty sure they said threatening them, but if you didn't talk to them, then... I didn't talk to them at all. Wow. Or maybe they felt threatened, I don't know. The first responder also makes note of a gun, which Shiver denies having. They were saying that you were following them, obviously, and that you got a gun, which what? isn't illegal. It doesn't no, matter. I don't, it do doesn't matter, though. But I don't. And oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my so, God. she, mother-in-law, something car. is, she's freaking out, apparently. She's but, hypomanic, but, which but, is a mental issue. All yeah. three of the people in the car have a mental issue. Don't don't you. Yeah. They don't need my kids. Yeah. Yeah, they're saying the same thing. That's none of our business. All I'm saying is that's that's the call we got. That's why we but showed these up. Are my kids yeah. That they don't have a right to. Yeah. Can I try to call my husband with you right here? Later, when speaking with first responders, Shiver's mother-in-law asks about this alleged weapon. Oh, well, I, I didn't start the car or nothing, but I asked her about it. She said she did. Officials explained Shiver has not broken the law, suggesting her in-laws should head home. That's when her mother-in-law claims she's a nervous wreck. You guys can go about your business, okay? If she's following you or you feel like she's threatening you in any way from moving forward, you can call 911 again. With what we have right now, I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Okay. This whole thing's been documented and recorded, so you ain't got to worry about that. Okay. We just don't have nothing. We're not there. There she is. Right there. That's not her. Is that somebody else? No, that's somebody okay. else. Make me nervous. I'm a nervous wreck. Shiver's mother in law then describes a threatening text Shiver allegedly sent to her own mother. You want permission okay, to fish out here? Said, or did I it was a threat. Robin, it's my on. name, or Robert, neither one. Yeah. I'm threatening both of them. Then she voices concern about going home, making an ominous comment about Shiver's toxic home environment. I do not want to go home, though. Yeah. She's left. Y'all don't know her. Yeah. You don't know her like you no, know I don't. I don't know. So, so it's, it's, not a, it, it's not a good environment. It's a toxic environment. And it's a well, I mean, it, considering not just you, but her own mom saying the same thing, I'd be inclined to believe you. She also references Shiver's mental state, making a comment about suicide. Lindsay was not answering their phone calls all day today. So they thought she had killed herself, to be honest, and had taken an overdose or something. Three months after this body camera video was recorded, Shiver and her two co-conspirators were arrested in the Bahamas. She's since been released on $100,000 bail. Her bail conditions include multiple things, an evening curfew, and order to remain at least 100 feet away from her husband. She's due back in court on October 5th. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.